I'm Emma Straub, and my books are Modern Lovers and The Vacationers. What is Modern Lovers about? You told me that the first question was going to be easy. <laughs> it's about two families who live on the same block in Brooklyn, the two marriages and then the romance between the teenagers um, over the course of one hot and sticky New York City summer. There's a piece of writing within the writing here. At what point in the writing of the book did the song, Mistress mm -hmm. of Myself, yeah. come to you? I knew that the song had to be really good. Right, because this was the band's big this hit. This was when like these the hit, were, yeah. and the, it's the song that like, it became like this iconic anthem. Right. Which meant that I was gonna write as little of it as possible. <laughs> because I needed, it needed to be something that everyone reading it could imagine being whatever song would do that for them. Right. All I really needed was a good title and a good chorus. Because the characters were English majors, I thought, well, they would just steal from the best. Right. <laughs> um, and so I got my complete Jane Austen off the it. shelf. I love it. And I was just flipping through. I got to the end of Sense and Sensibility, and then it was right there. I, I will be calm. I will be mistress of myself. And I thought, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Do you think it's inevitable that everybody hits at some point a quarter life or midlife crisis like these like these guys do in the book? Does this happen to everybody? I think it's a miracle that it doesn't happen to everyone on like a biannual basis. Mm -hmm. Whether it's getting married or seeing the people around you get married or having children or seeing the people around you having children. I mean, I think there are a lot of enormous things that happen in most people's lives on a fairly predictable schedule right. that are what cause these huge bumps. These characters are a little bit ahead of you yeah. on the road of life. Yeah. Why did you pick that age instead of the age where you are? Um, because it gives me a really nice buffer zone. I don't have to deal with on the page, whatever it is that I'm dealing with in my real life. You're not living and writing it at the same yeah, time. Yeah, which is why it's so much fun for me to write about teenagers now. Right. Because I remember that time very vividly. Right. But it also, finally, feels like it happened a long time ago. Right. So I can write about it without feeling like it's happening to me all over yeah. again. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Emma. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching A Word on Words. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. I had a, a radio show on the college radio station called Almost Blue because Emma's super depressing radio show was already taken.